Speaking of healthcare, Kentucky is still at a very high COVID rate, yet Senator Paul continues to clash with top officials about origins, masking, vaccines. If elected, how would you help Kentucky continue on through the pandemic, especially as COVID becomes endemic? Well, one of the things that has really hurt me the most as a Kentuckian, and all my family is from Kentucky, uh, my family goes back several generations here. I've lost loved ones due to COVID. I've, I've seen the effects firsthand. Uh, my legislative office, while I was in the House, became essentially an unemployment office because we were dealing with record levels of unemployment across this Commonwealth as folks were losing everything. And to see Rand Paul stoking a lot of fear, um, sitting on a perch and essentially using um, his background in medicine to mislead and encourage folks to put down health standards and essentially say, burn your mask, don't worry about getting vaccinated, don't take care of yourselves. Um, and then he's profiting on the back end because his family is getting stock in remdesivir to try to get money in their pocket when we're getting sick and dying. It really is gross and it's a shame. So what I'm going to do in the United States Senate, first of all, is stand up for Kentuckians. I know that healthcare is a right. And I know that if we put policies in place like Medicare for all, we're gonna be better positioned when pandemics come or when crises hit. Um, it's also gonna help make sure local businesses are ready um, when the hard times come. And then also I'm going to do the work of investing in infrastructure so that we are prepared, not only for when, when those hard times come, but that we are better prepared to build sustainable economies across Kentucky. We need that now and we're going to get it in November by winning the Senate race.